Hello guys, welcome back. PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting Ramanujan infinite nested radical. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I'm looking at this interesting Ramanujan infinite nested radical. The question is solve for the x, where x is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 times square root of 1 plus 3 times, another square root of 1 plus 4 times square root of 1 plus 5 times, square root of 1 plus, and this pattern will continue. So first of all, what we can notice is for each one of those square root, it will begin with this 1. So 1 plus some number multiplied by the other square root, and also 1 plus with the other square root, 1 plus, and so on. So each one of those square root will start with the 1, right? But more importantly, for each one of those square roots, it's multiplied with some number that is outside of it, starting with this number 2. Because we have 2 times of the square root, and then 3 times of another square root, and then 4 times of another square root, and also 5 times with another square root, and so on. So we need to focus on those numbers that I circled in yellow, right? Okay, but then again, what is interesting is if you put this number line and say, let me have 3 right here. Square of 3, which is 3 squared, is simply equal to the product of the integer that is less than 3 by 1 and greater than 3 by 1, which is 2 and 4, plus 1. Then you can check with this 4 square. The 4 square is equal to the product of two integers. One of them is less than 4 by 1, which is 3. The other one is greater than 4 by 1, which is 5, plus 1. And then one more, that's 5 squared is now equal to 4 times 6 plus 1. And this will continue. So that's why, like I said, we will be focusing on those numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Those numbers are increasing by 1. Then at the same time, we can make an expression of those numbers using n, right? So in general, we can put this n squared is equal to n minus 1 times n plus 1. Now, plus 1. Okay, then let's put about 5 numbers using this expression, right? So 1 squared is just equal to 0 times 2 plus 1. And then 2 squared is equal to, now, 1 times 3 plus 1. And then 3 squared, we already have it, that is 2 times 4 plus 1. And then 4 squared is equal to 3 times 5 plus 1. And then, yeah, let's do one more. 5 squared is 4 times 6 plus 1. And this will continue. But then again, those numbers that I circled in yellow, those numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, those numbers are supposed to be these numbers that I listed. But what we can notice is your first number is 2. So your sequence of the number is starting with the 2, which is right here. That's why what I'm going to do is I'll be focusing on this number, which is 3 squared, that is 2 times 4 plus 1. So that's why if you put your square root on the left and right hand side first, then we will have now square root of 3 squared. Now this is equal to square root of 1 plus 2 times 4. But then again, this 4 right here. We can put your square root on this one, on the left and the right hand side. Then your 4 is going to be equal to square root of, now 1, plus 3 times 5. But then again, this number 5. Also, we can put your square root on this expression. So that's why now your 5 is going to be then equal to square root of 1, plus 4 times 6. And then you can do the same in order to get your 6, and so on. So that is why we can represent the square root of the 3 square, which is just a 3. So 3 is then going to be equal to square root of, now 1 plus 2 times 4 was equal to square root of, 1 plus now 3 times 5 was equal to square root of, 1 plus 4 times 6, and then you can do the same, and this will 
keep going on. So that's why we can just make a pattern, and then what you have on the right-hand side is exactly what you have for the x, right? So that's why for the answer for this question is clearly just a 3. Before we end this video, I'll be giving you this one expression that we can actually use in this type of the infinite nested radical in general, right? Okay, let's put all of these information together and then come up with this expression in general. So if you have the square root of 1 plus n times square root of n plus 2 square. Okay, let's distribute this n plus 2 square inside, right? Then this is just going to be equal to square root of now 1 plus and then n times square root of n plus 2 square is n square plus 4 n plus 4. Then we can rewrite this inside part, right? So we can rewrite this inside part as now square root of 1 plus n times square root of and then n square plus 4 and plus 3 plus 1. Then we can factor this out as n plus 1 times n plus 3. Okay. So if you rewrite this, then we will have now square root of now 1 plus n times square root of, in this case, 1 plus n plus 1 times n plus 3. And if you do the same for this step, then we can rewrite this as square root of, now 1 plus n times square root of 1 plus, now in this case, n plus 1 times square root of this n plus 3 square. And if you do the same step with this, then we can actually keep going on, right? So that is why this is exactly what we have on the original equation for the x. So that's why in this case, your n has to be equal to 2, right? So that's why if you plug it in 2 to the n, then we will have square root of 1 plus 2 times square root of 2 plus 2 square, which is 4 square. This is the same thing as square root of 1 plus 2 times 4. That is square root of 9. Then we will have 3 as we got from this word. Okay, so like I said, this was pretty interesting, Ramanujan infinite nested radical. So I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.